Welcome back to the podcast uh, oh, with peaked. me and Cyber Will uh, oh, yeah. here. Um, so oh, today yeah. we are doing what I'm calling the Geek Show Awards. I did them in terms of a YouTube video, and now I'm doing it's them. Quite enough though, your Geek Show was like this. It? Now you can put your own spin on it. All right, yay. Um, and then we're going to be talking about the Doctor Who New Year's special. We have a new mic. Yeah. Uh, I think we should get into that quickly. Hopefully we sound better. Hopefully we sound better. Um, the idea was that you sound less loud and I sound at a regular yeah, but pitch. I sound quieter now. So we sound the same. Um, and I think that... Have we got like like an intro music to the Geek Show Awards? It's like... Uh... Alright, here we go guys. Ready? This is the annual... Is it going to be annual? Geek Show Awards. With your hosts, uh, Dan Johnson and Cyber Will. Okay, so we have many categories to talk about. Uh, so let's start off with best action. Um, the <laughs> nominees. <laughs> no, we've got to have the music, like, duh, 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 and then you can say what the nominees are. Okay. And the nominees are Deadpool 2. Woo, yeah! Infinity War. Yeah, woo, woo! I Mission- love you! Mission Impossible Fallout. Never seen it! Shut up! <laughs> Uh, Ready Player One. Yeah, that's alright. And uh, Aquaman. Woo! I haven't seen it! And the winner of... What's this one? Best Action Film. Best Action Film. Is... Hold on, wait, 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 music. Do I speak now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, um, uh, Infinity War. Infinity War. Woo! Yeah, go well into Infinity War. You need to explain why now. Infinity War wins. Woo! Explain why. Well, it, well, I changed my answer from my video, Rusi. Because I told you how wrong you was. Yes. Uh, yes. Because I realised that saying that the best action film was Ready Player One is 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 stupid. It's pretty. You stupid are a stupid person. When you had you know films like Infinity War out this year that had you know better storytelling, I should say. Um, it's not about story. It's about action, Daniel. You don't even know what yeah, category you're on film, about. Though, isn't it? Right. What was good about the fight scenes in Infinity War? Well, they actually had stakes to it because, well, yeah, because they were huge in terms of the storyline for the right, MCU. Let's not talk about storylines. Talk about actual fight. What made the fight better than all of them fights? Okay, I'm gonna say one. It looked realistic. Every punch, it felt like they were actually punching someone. Whereas the DC universe, right, it doesn't feel like they're actually punching, does it? Right. So if you know what I mean, like when have you ever seen Justice League? Yep. When like. Was it? They all fight Superman. They do the massive punch. It doesn't feel like an actual punch, does it? It feels like a, a stage. Especially when you just hear that, like this sort of boom, 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 boom. But Infinity War, it feels like they're actually fighting, and it yeah. looks. And the next category is most ambitious film. Most ambitious film. Okay. Are we just gonna say Infinity War is gonna win all of these? Okay, so... Right, and the nominees are for Most Ambitious. Go, go, go. Ready Player One. Woo! Infinity War. Woo! Spider-Verse. Woo! They're all pretty, um... Is that it? Yeah, that's that. That's it. Oh, uh, okay. They all, they all could win, if I'm honest. Have you seen Into the Spider-Verse? No. Okay. But, from what I've heard about it from... It's very, very people, good. It is good. We haven't seen it yet. We haven't seen no because I I was like I don't have the money to go and see Aquaman and Spider Verse so I was like go and see one of them. You chose to go see Aquaman over Into the Spider Verse. Is that a bad decision? I mean personally I chose Into the Spider Verse but come on right and the winner is just Infinity War isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. It's just Infinity War. There's no point doing the music to it. It's just Infinity it's just War. Ten years, ten years of whole Marvel thing. You know, there's a lot of characters there put That's... together. Well, do you know the Dominance Award? But you know who won the Dominance Award? I've never heard of it. What's the Dominance it Award? Who is the most dominant film of the year? No, no, Dan. Who is the most dominant film of the year? Well, it's Infinity War, isn't it? Oh, it's Infinity War. Should we just say Infinity War wins all of these? Okay, what's the next category? The next category is Best Trailer. Best Trailer. Woo! And the nominees are... Infinity War. Woo! <laughs> Surprisingly, Aquaman, the five minute Whoa, one. We look really now. Ready player. <laughs> <laughs> Ready player one. Whoa. Avengers Endgame. Yeah. And the winner is. Wait, 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 wait. Music. 
Avengers Endgame. Endgame. Woo, Avengers well Endgame. done to Avengers Endgame. Do you know, do you know why? Do you know it, why? Because it dropped out of nowhere. No, but no, no, no. Oh, right. It did, though, didn't it? Let's be honest. It did drop but out of nowhere. You were you were there that, that afternoon. We were there. We were all there Friday when we saw the trailer and everyone kind of freaked out about it, didn't they? As they came into the room that we normally after, are in. It? it was... On, yes. Yeah, it was mental. I can't, right, I'll, just, I'll just make the music. I can't bother to get my phone up. Right. All right. The so, next one is... The next category is best animation. <laughs> well, you should ruin my music. Yes. I don't know what noise that was. I was going for my... <laughs> uh, but it, it came out wrong. Uh, so the, the, the nominations are... Spider Verse. Isle of Dogs. The Incredibles 2. And the winner is. Where is it? And the winner is. Lost the page. Dun, 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 It's The Incredibles 2. Oh, wait, no, that's not right. Do it again. Do it again. I'm joking, I'm joking. Epic Games. Have you seen that? Have you seen that Epic Games thing's like, and the winner for the best film, the best game is Epic Games. And it wasn't Epic Games. It's still like, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's just a prank. I'm joking, I'm joking. And the winner is La La Land. No, it's not. No, it's okay. No, it's not. Stop. <laughs> no, it's a uh, Spider Verse. Dun 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 Spider Verse. Spider Verse wins the best animation. Uh, in my view, we're done yet. No, we've got two more left. <sighs> okay, and the category <laughs> is dun 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 biggest fail. And the nominees are Robin Hood. Dun 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 dun. That was a film. Yes. <laughs> I haven't even heard of it. Uh, Holmes and Watson. Dun, 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 dun. You haven't seen it. It could be really good. Wrinkle in Time. Dun, 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 And Immortal Engines. Dun, 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 And the winner is? We haven't seen any of them, so we're just Well, no, no, but I've gone with the one I feel like, for me, was the biggest fail. But you haven't seen any of them. I'm not spending my money on that rubbish. But, but you can't ju- <laughs> right. Okay, what's the nominees? That was the nominees. Oh, Sars. It's it's Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Robin Hood wins because who, who was playing to Robin? me? Who uh, was playing Terrence Edgerton. That I, came out. Yes, exactly. That's how bad the film was that nobody spoke about it. At least you heard of the others. More, what's Mortal Engines? Well, Mortal Engines is like this Peter Jackson thing. Oh no, Mortal. It's not Peter Jackson. It's the like the the person who makes Hobbit, isn't it? That is Lord Peter Jackson. <laughs> No, Peter Jackson, the lightning thief. Okay, so the final, final um, category is... <laughs> too early. The most underrated film of 2018. <laughs> the nominees are... Solo, a Star Wars story. Ant Man 2. The Incredibles 2. And the winner is. Solo. Do you know why? Why? Because I actually like that film. It came though... at the same time as Infinity War and yeah, no one went it, to go see yeah, it. Yeah, nobody went to go and see it. And that's why I think it's the most underrated because nobody went to go and see it, and they should have. Cause right, it was actually should we talk about Doctor Who? Well, <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it's me trying to talk, and then a yawn just came out of nowhere because this is boring me to death. All right, well, that's the end. Well, should we do some ASMR? The incredible. Um... So thanks for thanks for listening. Thanks for hitting your my, your phone on the table every four seconds. Um, well, I thought you wanted music. I didn't. <laughs> oh yeah, that's me. Um, and then, well, New Year's Day. Will do you know what happened on New Year's Day? We saw the worst Dalek, anorexic Dalek. Is that what you were calling it? I mean, it's called anorexic Dalek, isn't it? Who calls it that? Me. <laughs> You're the only one. <laughs> Mate, have you seen it? It looks anorexic. 
Right, whatever. Um, yeah, we were talking about Resolution, the Doctor Who New Year's Day special. Also, come check out um, the there'll be a video now on uh, my YouTube channel Cyber Will where we did a full series eleven review. Little plug here, guys. Dan's just got his hands in his face or face in his hands, whatever it's bloody called. <laughs> hands in his so, head. Just a <laughs> shameless plug, and he literally looks like he wants to punch me. Check me out. Link in the description. Is our descriptions on podcasts? Yeah. Um, right. So resolution. Dalek, we'll talk about that first. What Dalek. do you think of the Dalek? Stop calling it an anorexic Dalek. The anorexic Dalek. I liked the Dalek. I'm oh, the only okay. person that How did. did you like the what, what? I think the idea of a reconnaissance Dalek and then a Dalek that had to piece itself together is pretty cool. Yeah, right. The idea is cool. The design is not. I like how the bottom of the Dalek is literally just a regular Dalek. I don't <laughs> like that. Because it looks stupid from the middle oh, that, section that was sarcastic. to the bottom sec. Okay. Sarcasm, mother. Well, it didn't sound sarcastic. Uh, yeah, maybe it should have been a bit, like, sort of... Chunkier. No, I'd say, yeah. Or the bottom thinner. Yeah, make the bottom thinner, because the, the the top was quite thin. Because the bottom was just Time War was Dalek, big. wasn't it? Yeah. And then the top, the middle was like... Yeah. It's supposed to be a, a hand-built Dalek, isn't it? And then you've got the bottom that looks like it's a little bit too much, um, like an actual Dalek. Mm. Um, obviously, they had to keep the design the same, so I'm glad that they didn't sway too much from it. But um, maybe they could have done it, maybe just bring in that bottom half would have been nice, made it look better. Made it look Dalek enough. Shall we actually talk about what the story was? Dalek. Well, come on then. Okay, so we start off by seeing Oregon, not her name. What, who would she play? That's from Fresh Meat. Yeah, I know. That's that's the what? What? Who is it? Lynn. Lynn. That's it. Yeah. What is the guy called? I can't remember. It's just a long silence. <laughs> so we see. No, we see like. Oh, what were the the warriors called? This is professional, isn't it? What warriors? Okay, well the the, the warriors. Yeah, not, yeah. We had the, right at the beginning. There was the they, warriors. They, they stop a Dalek. Somehow. Which is literally the biggest complaint that people had about this episode. Well, yeah. Um, they stop a Dalek and then. So, so, uh, and they like cut it off in separate places and bury it around the world. Right? Which which turns out to be nothing in the end because. Yeah. It, it just. Oh, no, but luckily, one piece ends up in Sheffield. Of course it does. Where else but Sheffield? This is not going to help. No, it's not Daniel. So if you like, just get out, please. I'm just doing my moment. Jokes don't leave me. This? I'm the one that's making stupid noises. This is what I'm going to do on your live stream later. Just then, the Dalek ends up in Sheffield, and then, <laughs> and then we see the Doctor with Graham, Yaz, and Ryan celebrating. Was it the 19th or 29th? I think they went to like multiple New Year's. I Eve's think it was 19th yeah. New Year's Eve, and there's like Earth Tracker, like. Oh no, Earth's in danger, which bet you a fiver we ain't ever gonna see that again. What Earth Tracker No like the like Earth's in trouble, will, 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 will thing. Oh right, cool. Cause that 'cause that's how they realised Earth was in trouble, wasn't it? Because oh, yeah. the thing in the TARDIS. Bet you a fiver we'll never see that again. Do you know what actually I didn't like about this episode? There's t- there's one thing I didn't like, right? The nice forced in there unit got just Destroyed by the. We ain't got to that bit yet. Joe. Oh yeah, sorry. I've, ru- I've ruined it. Keep going. Right. Shut up. No. And then the whale, whale, whale. They come down and they're like, "Wow! Oh my god!" So we're in the sewers in Sheffield. And then like Glenn goes, "Oh, shines a torch at a wall. Oh my god, it's massive squid thing." And he's like, "Ah!" Because and just to be fair, I do like the new design of the in in a Dalek. Yes. Yes. That's cool. I like that. And what, the fact I, that it was on her back. No, I cool do not well. like that. I like that, even though that we've definitely had. Okay, seen I do before. like that. Uh, there's one bit I don't like. Exterminate. She should not say exterminate. Well, it's still a Dalek, though. Yeah, but why does she have to say it? It looks stupid when she said it. Was that a was that a big thing for you in the yes? Gender? Although one thing I did like was the car That's scene. Fast. That is going way too fast. Um, was the car, I like the car scene because like if a Dalek actually did control, that's how they drive. Mm, that's fair dues. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, Should we talk about the actual main plot? Yeah. Okay, Dalek is stuck on Earth. Wants to send a signal out to the top of Dalek's spaceship to, like... Was it Beam Me Up, Scotty? 
It, 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 reconnaissance Dalek. Yeah, so was it to beam him up or bring them down? Bring them down. Okay, right, okay. Um, and then, like, so the Dalek goes to this special, what's the place called? Unit. No, it's not unit. They unit shut down because of Brexit. This special thing, yeah, that they use. Special satellite building to call yeah. down a um, the Daleks and get stopped by a microwave. Well, you put it like that. But I, the microwave thing, I don't think it was too bad. That just the idea of oh look, oh I, won't, I bet that microwave is going to have some point in the episode later because there has to be some stupid reason why he's carrying it around because he doesn't add anything to it. To, yeah. to the dad, he's just how he's holding it. The entire I mean, episode. personally, the I microwave. think yeah. you should never be able to kill a Dalek. I think he, she, she, he should have either been been beamed up by the Daleks, yeah, or him gone somewhere else. Yeah, he because it, it shows it shows how weak this one was because it got killed by a microwave. I know well, it wasn't the full Dalek, but it's still a Dalek. Do you know what I mean? Well, I did feel like the Dalek was an actual threat, though. I didn't feel like, do you know, some of the later Matt Smith... Uh, Asylum the, of the Daleks which is, is the worst Dalek which episode. Which is familiar episode, right? Those Daleks, uh, you know, Missy defeats it with some kind of sewer thing. And I don't know how they did it, but they defeated it. Um, and if they took it, they took it a bit seriously here and they made it more... Um, like more like a threat, but then it got defeated by a bunch of people with swords and arrows and stuff, um, and it also got defeated by you know a bit of a microwave that is somehow enhanced. But no, no, to be fair, no, to be fair, the actual Dalek didn't get defeated. The outer shell got defeated, didn't it? Because mm. then the actual Dalek attached onto Ryan's yeah. dad. Yeah, yeah, which got sucked out. Which oh, so yeah, still to be dies. Fair, that does make sense. It still dies. Yeah, but th- that. Hollow, like, I honestly, for a minute, I thought it. Ryan and his dad was gonna go. I did. I, actually I think fe- it would have been a lot, lot better it. if they had both gone. Hmm. What? what? <laughs> because let's be honest, right? Tardis quadruplet is not working. No. You have like one, two at a push. Main companions focus is focused on in an episode, right? Most of the time, they just stood there. Like Ryan, it just point and say what it is, isn't it? Like, oh look, red light. Mm. Oh look, and man! Then, oh look! If Ryan wasn't there for an episode, then you could actually give Yaz some time to shine because at the minute her total use has been. Um... I prefer Yaz to Ryan because well, actually, I like I like Ryan and I like Graham. Graham's the best, and their plot line, but it's the only plot line that they seem to give to the companions, and they bring it up when you think that they've ended it, they bring it back up again. Right, so we need to sum up now. Will, what did you think of this episode? Give it a rating of some kind. Uh, six. Six out of ten. Yeah, that's fair dues. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten, just because I felt like I really enjoyed how much money this. Yeah. So I, I was really happy with this episode. Uh, yes. Is there anything you want to add to that? Just got to wait another year, two years, maybe a year, one year. How long have we got to wait? A year. Yeah, about a year. Yeah. Yeah. To the new Doctor Who. Are we getting a Christmas episode this year? Nope. Or is it still no new Christmas, years? no New Year's Day thing. It is just straight into series twelve. So there's no New Year's Day either. No, I. I what what's annoyed me about? You, we're this? not getting a Christmas episode. I don't think so. Well, it hasn't been confirmed, but we probably will. Yeah, might do it at a later but time. I think the only reason they they didn't they didn't have a Christmas episode was because series eleven was very close to Christmas. Let's be honest. So it'll be like a two week break then Christmas. Yeah. So let's see why they had it on New Year's. And that would mean that they could advertise the Dalek a bit more and mm-hmm. get more people into it. And it didn't really work in the and end, the view, did it? And, and, and let's be honest, the views, not that great. What, viewing figures? Viewing well, figures, well, not that great. They're about as average as they were in, P- in Peter Capaldi's time. So there's not much difference, but it's had a few peaks. Sorry for interruption, I'm mansplaining right now. Do you think it is too mansp- PC? At times it can be, but sometimes it's fine. Like that bloody Brexit joke, and the bloody we'll have to uh, have. Yeah, I didn't like a conversation. It's the, it's the calls out and stuff. I don't like the idea of them calling out Brexit. It's like I just want to watch a sci-fi show. I don't want to have. I don't to want to be reminded. Reminded of, the, of Brexit. Of the terrible seventy-six days. <laughs> at the time of recording. <laughs> yeah. What until we're out until we're out the EU? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> seventy-six days yeah. until we're out. Yep. I didn't even know that. I thought it was taking forever. I thought that's still the being... deadline. It's March, so you know I'm. We might really... never, be, we might not be able to upload this because Article Thirteen. Mm. Oh no! I mean, if we leave the Brexit, we we get rid of Article Thirteen. 
That's a bad one, isn't it? The copyright one. Two teenagers don't understand Brexit. All right, so in a bit. Um, so, yeah, thank you for listening to the podcast. Make check sure out you go to Will. check out Will's link uh, to his, well, live stream that won't be live by the time this goes no, out. No, Dan, to the channel and subscribe. Trying to get to 15 subs. I'm trying to get to 100. All right, you little sweat. Just I'm just on 75. Get your miles off. Miles off, mate. 25 oh. only. I'll just make 15 yes. accounts and subscribe to you. Thank you. You need to make 25. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up, I failed maths. Um, I yeah. doxed myself. I hope well. you like the new mic and... Um, you are very close to it. I am perfect. I hope you like the new mic. Um, I like it. Do you like it? It looks pro- professional, yeah. We will be back in about a month if Will can bother to get up before right, two. you know what? Two is a good time to get up if it's like... it was. I wasn't back at school yet. It was still the holidays... You asked me to come around on, like, the 3rd of January. I was tired, and we'll see you later. Toodles. Bye.